All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this render. It's a really cool, really fun particle simulation, and it's really easy. So let's get into it. If you wanna see that animation some more, you can head over to my Instagram and watch it here. If you want the project file for that exact animation, you can head to the Gumroad link in the description, get that for a dollar, or the guys on the Patreon will be getting that for free. So let's head on to Blender. So first off, we're just gonna add an icosphere here, and we're gonna subdivide it, make it smooth, just like that. And then we're gonna add the object that's gonna be the particle, and that's just gonna be a cube. The reason why we're gonna do a cube is one, the little amount of topology, because we're gonna be doing a lot of particles and they're gonna be so small that you can't even tell that it is a cube. So we can kind of cut those corners right there. So right off the bat, let's head over and add a particle system to this. So that's gonna be right down here, this little thing with the three sort of poke outs. We're gonna click the plus button. And if we just press play, we see some particles. Right now they're just dropping to the floor. I want them to kind of go everywhere. So let's head down to the field weights. Right here at the top is gravity. Just kill that all the way down to zero and now they go out the way we want. Now let's sort of tell these little particles where to go because they're just sort of going in a boring straight outward motion and that's gonna be done with force fields. So if we just head over to the force fields, add turbulence, you can scale it up if you wanna see it, it's just like right there. And if we just press play, it's hard to tell that they're doing, they're doing just a little bit. So we need to increase that strength. They'll click on the field, click on the field settings right here, this little circle, and I'm gonna give a strength of 50 and see what happens. Press play. And now they're doing all this crazy stuff and it's really fast. So one way to make your particles look like they're going in slow motion is you click this little printer icon here. Right up here in dimensions, click time remapping. Right here on old, I'm gonna go to 50. So it just kind of slows down your sequence to 50% and now it looks like slow motion particles. They're going as fast as they used to, but this time remapping is gonna remap it. If you want it to look like it's 24 frames a second, Right down there, you just do 24, and now it's this really incredible slow motion particle effect, and it's really cool, but I'm gonna stick to 50. I like that motion. So let's go back to the particle settings. So let's go back to the force field settings right over here, and let's give it a flow of eight. And so what flow is gonna do is it's just gonna sort of keep it next to the circle here rather than shooting it out so far. Now, if we take our sphere here and we're just gonna scale down really small so we can't really see it, you can watch the particles sort of do their own thing here in the animation. You can start to see those little patterns and lines that look really cool and sci-fi looking. All right, so now let's go ahead and add our particle, which is this box right here. So let's click on the icosphere, go to the particle settings, click on render, and we're gonna go switch it from halo to object right here select our object, which is the cube. So if we press play, now we'll see a bunch of cubes going everywhere. Of course, these are too big. You can see that they're cubes, unless you like that. If that's cool to you, then you know, to each their own, but I want them to look like little mini dots. So first off, before we do that, I'm going to add just an emission, t an emission shader. So right here on surface, click emission, and we'll give it a strength of three and we'll make it a nice light blue. So if we hit rendered, Right now we're in the Cycles Render Engine. Let's go over here, click on Cycles, and switch to Eevee, and make sure Bloom is on. That's really important. So, like we were gonna do, make those particles smaller. So again, if I press play, we see a bunch of little cubes, and we don't want that. So, let's go to the particle settings. Right down here on Render, on, on Scale, I'm gonna bring all the way down to the smallest setting here, which is zero. 0.01 and on scale randomness watch what that'll do just bring it all the way up scale randomness fairly self-explanatory now so now if we look at this render it's doing this pretty cool thing it's pretty nice and dreamy but for me that's not enough particles right now we just have a thousand particles I'm gonna give it 5,000 particles and let's check out what that does now we're starting to get some really cool effects. So if I press, so right now this is too bright for me and that's because the particles are still too big. So let's head back down there to where it says scale and now we have to type in 0.005, bring some even smaller, just like that. Now my world brightness is on gray. If you click on the earth here, bring your color all the way down to black. Now we can see what's going on. So if we press play and we can watch our animation do its thing, Pretty cool. Now, 
let's go ahead and add more particles. Now, depending on your computer, depending on what you can handle, I'm just using a standard gaming laptop, so, so not very impressive. I'm not using some professional computer. So I have pretty much the same computer most amateur 3D artists are using. So don't worry, you should be able to handle what I'm doing here. So right now it's at 5,000. I'm gonna give it 20,000, just like that, 20,000 particles. And if I press play, we should get a pretty cool animation with all these crazy particles. Now the animation you saw in the beginning, that is 200,000 particles. I'm using a gaming laptop, it's an i7 with a, the graphics card is a GTX, it's a GTX 1060 eighth generation. So it's a fairly new computer, but not the most powerful. So it is gonna run your computer fairly slow, but my computer can handle 200,000 particles, so don't get super scared about the number of particles you're using, especially if you're using the cube as the particle. It's fairly low topology. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give myself, right here on the end, I'm gonna give it 525 frames. I believe that is the number that it goes at, just like that. So I'm gonna go into my ecosphere and give myself 50,000 particles. So we're at 50,000. So I'm gonna stop that for here just for the tutorial so we can watch it render in real time. If I go up to 200,000, that's gonna to be too much. So as you can see, you're getting a pretty crazy, really beautiful animation. Now I would recommend going into the field settings and mucking with it some more. Play down here if we add noise, bring your noise amount all the way to 10. You can watch a couple more lines and strings are gonna form because we added that noise. You can see some more stuff is going around. Some things are happening around because of that new noise thing I added. So like right here, really, really cool composition. So I'm just gonna go ahead, Shift A, add my camera. Because I like rabbit, I hit Control Alt Zero, snap that to view, and I'm gonna scale it back like this. So right now, my particles are too big. So we'll go back to the particle settings, to the size, 0 0.003 is a good number for me. That rhymed. Um, and you can go in, and this is the animation that I'm working with. It's a really cool, very interesting sci-fi looking particle system. Now, for creativity, you can go back in. There are dozens of different particle systems that you can play with. I would recommend, say, adding a vortex. And if I go to the vortex settings just really quickly, and say I give it a strength of two, if I press play, it'll sort of spin it around in a really cool way, playing with the force. And now it vortexes it around and sort of screws with it and you can watch the motion happening. You can see the vortex working right here. So you can play with it and go really close, go farther out. So I'm gonna go back to my camera view and we're just gonna call this the render. Now before you hit render, if you were just to render the animation right now, you wouldn't get anything. We have to bake this animation. So click on the icosphere. Right here, back in the particle system, you're gonna see cache and click bake. And what that's gonna do right down here is just gonna run through all 500 frames and it's gonna bake my animation. All right, so now it's done. The animation is baked, took only a couple seconds. And now we have an animation. I'm gonna bring my camera in a little bit closer and say rotate it right around here and bring it up. And that is my animation. So to render it, we're just gonna click on this little printer icon, keep it at 1920 by 1080 or higher or different, but I tend to keep it at 1920 by 1080. Right down here, pick where you wanna save it, change to FFmpeg video. On encoding, change it from this to MP4 and on medium quality to perceptually lossless quality. And go up here, render, render animation. So there you go. I hope you learned something. I hope you had some fun. This is a really cool, fun animation. It's one of my favorite. It's just really nice and cool to look at. So there you go.